I'm John, this is Sounds on the Sound, and today we're doing Martin Harris's 1000 Subs Contest. <laughs> Martin's contest is made up of 10 questions. Uh, I'll have a link to his channel down in the description here. Uh, might as well just jump right into it. Uh, number number 10, or number 10. Number one, uh, most unique item in your collection. This uh, Earthrite Throne, Caligula's Dream. This is a lathe cut record, and uh, what makes it unique is it is the only one. The uh, guy that uh, does this project uh, sent it to me since I was such a big fan. So there you go. This is the first thing he ever recorded, and he had it uh, cut at a local shop. Number two, a money-related album, song, or cover. Uh, the only thing I could think of off the top of my head was, uh, Brothers in Arms, Dire Straits. Of course, the tune is Money for Nothing. I believe it's the second track on the first side. Yep. So there you go. Number three, an album made by an actor. Now, I don't know, uh, if y'all are going to count this or not, but... It's about the best I could do. This is the Ruddles, which is a, sp a spoof group on uh, the Beatles. And uh, there we got old Eric Idle. Monty Python th fame. And I believe uh, the rest of these guys are uh, actors as well. Uh, now, I know that th these three guys do actually play the instruments. Uh, is Eric Idle the one singing? Good question. I'm assuming he is. <laughs> All right. Number three, or number four. A film starring a musician. Now, I don't have any films starring a musician, but I do have a film with a musician in it. This is Clue, and... Uh, Hilarious movie. I saw this in the theater when it first came out, way back in the day. But uh, not only is it an all-star cast, but it also has Lee Ving as Mr. Body. He was uh, the lead singer of Fear, punk band from L.A. There you go. Clue. Number five. Your favorite music biopic. Well, I only own one. Walk the Line. It's a pretty good one at that. Not usually a country music guy, but I do like me some Johnny Cash. Really great movie. Number six. Your country's flag colors using colored vinyl slash sleeves. So, uh... Yeah. There was some, uh... I was discussing this in my house. There was some contention over what the uh, point of this category is. But, I mean, like, you know, it's multiple records making up the colors. Multiple sleeves making up the colors. I just went with one. Uh, this is, uh, what is this thing? The Death of uh, Halpin Frazier. This is a spoken word uh, story. Uh, Ambrose Bierce story and this is the vinyl red white and blue USA that's where I'm from if you didn't get that one not the UK <laughs> no accent uh, speaking of the UK though if we wanted to go the other way boom not only is it the colors of the flag it is the flag Anthrax, I Am the Law single, and another version. There you go. Uh, number seven, solo records by all members of a group. 
Now, I don't have anything like that. What I do have is an idol group, Necronomital, and I do have releases by many, I have solo releases by many of their members. So, here's one. This is Sari. She was uh, an original member of the group. This one is Rasaki. She was also an original member of the group. Uh, they have both left the group now. This is Kanogi. She was a member of the group uh, 2019, I think. The group started in 2014. Uh, this is Himari. She joined in 2017. This is her single project. And this is Ray. And this is her single project while she was in the group. I believe that she joined in 2016 and left in 2020? Anyway, there you have it. That's about the best I could do on that one. Uh, most unusual vinyl. Now, I could have gone several directions on this one, but I went with uh, this release by Hexus. It's black metal. This is a 6-inch record. There you go. 6-inch. Number nine, an act you only like up to a certain point in their career. Well, that one's going to be Anthrax, and I only like them up to approximately, uh, oh, what is this album? Just a sec here. Get these in order, because I... Got them all out. So let's see how far we go here. First album. Good one. It's different because a uh, different vocalist. This is the Japanese pressing of it. Uh, Fistful of Metal was the original name of it. This is a Fistful of Anthrax. First EP, Armed and Dangerous. First with Joey Belladonna on vocals. Spreading the disease. Among the living. And the last one that uh, I like. State of Euphoria. Uh, Persistence of Time does have some pretty good tracks on it, but uh, not a fan of the whole thing. So, that'd be that. And uh, number 10. Favorite film spinoff from a TV show. These X-Files movies. I love the X-Files. And uh, here's both the movies. I also have the uh, Lone Gunman uh, spinoff TV show that ran for a season? I think it was one season. Anyway, there you go. Both X-Files movies. And there you have it, folks. Martin Harris's 1,000 Subs Contest. All done. Later. Later.